everyone. Welcome to the KFT's introduction to birds. We are going to talk about birding from home. Birding is observing birds for recreation. But most of us take it beyond just recreation and you can do that too. It is world's most popular and fast growing hobby. It's also a huge industry estimated over billions of dollars. Millions of people are into bird watching and it's picking up in India. The best thing about being a birder is that birds are everywhere. So wherever you are, birds are there to accompany you. They are on all continents and in every country. They are on land, sea, fresh water and of course the air. They inhabit the lowest deserts and highest mountains and most importantly even your backyard. There are more than 1300 species in India due to a variety of habitats. That's 13% of the birds of the world. They are resident, migratory and even endemic. It means they are only found in India. Birds have always fascinated humans with colors, bird song or mostly the flight. Birds are part of all cultures and there are birds even in mythology like Garuda, Vahana of Lord Vishnu, Aul, Vahana of the Goddess Lakshmi or Jatayu in Ramayana. Birding is the easiest way to connect with nature. It takes only a little bit of curiosity to be able to see a bird around you. If you keep your eyes and ears open, you can easily see many birds. To become a more serious birder, it takes four important tools which are not so hard to acquire. Binoculars, a field guide, notebook or these days a phone, and patience. So bird watching is easy and anyone can do it every day, everywhere. So let's get birding. You will learn about birds you can see around your homes in India and how to identify them. First, you need to learn a few bird body parts because they are often part of bird names. So there's a beak, lores, forehead, crown, nape, rump, tail, vent, flanks, belly, breast, throat, chin. There are more terms which you can learn later from any field guide. Then you need to understand the bird groups like the birds of prey, owls, woodpeckers, crows, finches, etc. They can tell you a lot about where and how the birds live. You can slowly get familiar to different shapes and sizes of birds and remember them in comparison to birds most familiar to you, like the bigger or smaller than a sparrow. Birds are colorful, so colors on different body parts are often characteristics of many birds. They also sing and call. These calls are usually quite unique. They can call for an alarm or to announce availability of food, while the song is sung to attract a mate. So let's look at some common birds you should be able to see even from your home. Common Maina is overall brown in color with bright yellow skin around the eye and yellow beak. It is found near human habitation and cultivation. It sounds like this. House crow is all black with a grey neck. It usually scavenges, which means it feeds on dead animals and so is the garbage cleaner of the city. They are found near human habitation. We all know its call. Jungle crow is totally glossy black with a dome-shaped head. Most people mistake it for a raven, which is found only in a few places in India. Jungle crow is mainly seen in wooded areas, but sometimes also in the city. Black kite is often mistaken for an eagle. Black kite is a scavenger. The tail is forked like a fish. Many can be seen together flying and circling around cities, towns and villages. It calls like.
parakeets are mostly green and have long tails. Only the male of rose-ringed parakeet has a rose-colored ring around the neck. They are often caged and sold illegally. To capture and sell any wild bird in India is a legal offense. They are found in flocks in wooded areas and feed on fruits, flowers and buds. Alexandrine parakeet has a maroon patch on the shoulder and is larger than the rose ring parakeet. It is found in wooded areas in large flocks. It makes a sound like White throated kingfisher is a brilliant blue and dark brown with white throat and a long thick beak perfect for fishing. Although it is often found far from water in gardens and forest edges. Common tailor bird is tiny and stitches leaves together to make its nest. It is common in the cities and can be easily found in gardens. Red whiskered bulbul flaunts a long crest and red cheeks. It keeps singing and boldly sits in the open on top of bushes in gardens or churches. It calls like. Red vented bulbul is dark brown bulbul with short crest on the black head and a red vent. It is common in wooded areas in the cities and cultivation in villages it makes a sound like asian coyote male is all dark while female is spotted with white the red eye is striking it can be heard early morning in spring coyote is a brood parasite meaning it lays eggs in the nest of other birds like the crows and other hosts easily heard more than seen in the cities in lightly wooded areas and gardens it calls like purple sunbird is often mistaken for hummingbird because of similar looks and habits for nectar feeding but hummingbirds are not found in india it can be seen in gardens and also visiting flower plants in buildings the females are drab in color while the males have a metallic sheen to the purple color purple rump sunbird male has a purple rump and maroon head bright yellow belly female is olive green with yellow belly found in gardens and cultivation it calls like house sparrow males have a chestnut and gray head with black bib while females are plain or brown It mainly feeds on grain and so is common in towns and rural areas near human habitation and cultivation. The chirpy calls are well known. Scaly breasted munia is chestnut brown with a whitish scaled belly. It mainly eats grains. found around light wooded areas and cultivation it calls like blue rock pigeon is well adapting and are abundant in the cities they are blue gray in coloration and are popular for the sound they make Cockle is commonly known as crow pheasant 
as it resembles a crow in shape and size but has a brilliant chestnut wings with red eye. It is often seen in wooded areas and makes peculiar sound. Little Swift is always seen in flight. These birds also feed in mid-air. They are found in the city around tall buildings and hills. It makes a sound like Little Cormorant is all black and big in size. Seen in water bodies, often found itself drying in the sun with open wings as it gets wet when it dives in water for fishing. <laughs> Cattle Egret is bright white with yellow legs but becomes orange in breeding season. You can always see it chasing livestock to grab insects around them. It calls like. Shikra is a small bird of prey that is found in wooded areas. It is light grey on the back and has fine orange bearing on the breast and belly. It is a skilled hunter and feeds on small prey. It calls like. Barn Owl is very common in the city. It often roosts in cracks and crevices in buildings and drainage systems. It helps in keeping a check on the rat population in the cities. It comes out only after dusk and is active in the night. It makes a sound like Copper Smith Barbet is named after the call it makes that sounds like a copper smith. It is small and brightly colored with green, crimson and yellow. Nests in tree holes and is also the bird of Mumbai. It calls like. Indian Oriole often catches attention even from non-birders. With its brilliant yellow plumage and black eye mask, it is found in gardens and wooded areas and has a fluty call. The female is dull with streaks underneath. Spot breasted fantail is not only a songster but also dances with superb fanning motion of the tail and is commonly found in the gardens. It makes a sound like Oriental magpie robin is unmistakable black and white with peculiar habits. It sings long and variety of songs around spring by sitting on the top of trees and in cities, even the TV antennae. It sounds like this. So, I hope you can now peep out of your window, listen to the bird song and see at least 10 of these. Don't forget to keep regular notes of your observations. Make sketches and create checklists. Bye!